this in fact is my whole life and I'm going to show you how I style it. I first need to put the sunglasses on or else it's not a classic in the Wonder Years video. If I can even put them on my face. I like to call this look my Berlin look, which is where we are right now. I've been house sitting. I feel like she's somewhere in here. Is that her? <gasps> Kitty! Her name is Alpha. Goodbye! Basically, I worked out that everyone in Berlin just wears black all the time, which is not something I've been doing a lot recently. I've had to grow accustomed to it. I thrifted these pants in England and I had this little mesh top, so this has been my go-to every time we go out. It's like a uniform. Basically, a lot of clubs here are super picky on like who they want in their club and this seems to work most of the time. And you can dance so hard or you can even, if you get hot, take this off. And my friend was so scared that I was wearing open toe shoes, but um, they're so platform that no one can actually get to them and stand on my feet. But I have been wearing socks with them as well when it's been getting super cold. And also I've been trying different jacket options because Berlin is so cold and I'm ready to leave. Actually, one of the first nights we went out, I wore my boyfriend's shirt on top and I thought it was pretty groovy. So it's a little bit uh, long for me, but I think the oversized look is very Berlin. So I think I fit in. I also have to get super inventive at the moment because I'm getting sick of all this stuff. So I'm kind of grabbing like all of my boyfriend's stuff. Sorry, Nick. Also, when it's super cold, this jacket has been a lifesaver. I just thrifted it recently. Nick found it for me. And let me tell you, I have been having the worst luck at all the thrift stores, which is why you're not getting <laughs> a thrifting guide in Berlin, but you are getting me styling clothes in the house. Also, by the way, achievement unlocked. Got into Berkheim. This is what I wore the second time. The first time I wore, you know, this outfit. So I also wore out this outfit. This long sleeve has been a staple for literally every outfit because I've been freezing, but I will change up the pants so that you guys can see um, a different option. So the reason why I like this top so much is because, well, top combo, is because I kind of get like a cutout detail with this long sleeve underneath and it just looks super cool. We also got these plaid pants that I thrifted just before I came to Europe. I'm surprised they are not super fucked up because I've been wearing them every single day. And it's always good to have like a nice comfy pair of pants when you're traveling because these I can literally wear if I'm eating a lot of food, if I'm sitting, just anything the day to day. It's got lots of pockets, which literally all my other outfits don't have pockets. So if I need to like have a lot of things with me during the day, I will wear these pants. I've also got these Doc Martin quads that I have got of Depop. Someone needs to take Depop away from me because I have bought way too many things on this trip. And sorry if the light keeps fluctuating dark to light, we're gonna blame the goddamn clouds outside. Thank you for ruining the video. Hold up one second, I gotta check my cake. Oh my God, it's rising. The cake is looking good. Looking amazing actually, considering I didn't have any ingredients. So this is a good go-to outfit when I don't know what to wear, if I feel not that great, because once I put on the overalls, I feel amazing. <laughs> I recently got these in Amsterdam. They were very, very, very expensive. They were a crazy price. I'm gonna show it to the screen so Nick doesn't find out. But I have been on the hunt for the perfect denim overalls for the longest time, and I think I found them. And I'll always have a memory of going to Amsterdam to find them. So I really like having pieces that have a story. I also feel like this top kind of makes it look a little bit more grown up because every time I wear overalls, I look like a child, especially with how I have my hair today because I chronically look like a child. We've got some Doc Martin loafers, which actually feel like slippers most of the time, only after I broke them in because that was painful. I did size down in these, which was a risky move, but now they fit perfectly. Also, I never show you guys bags, so I thought I'd put a tote with this one. This one I got from Gemporium Vintage when I was in Cambridge because honestly, I do wear a tote most days because I'm always carrying a bunch of shit. So here we go. 
Now, as you can see, this top looks amazing with it. It kind of looks like those sleeve shrug things that have been taking over the internet, but I am gonna change it. This was more the vibe during summer, but I thought I'd still show you because I did wear it a lot. I got this red dress that I thrifted in England. And let me tell you, Bath was the best place to thrift because pretty much all the stuff from England is from Bath. This dress is originally from Urban Outfitters. I thrifted this red top just for this trip. It's like having a basic, but a pop of color. And then for shoes, we also have kind of a red tone as well. So we're going with like a flame look, channeling Katniss Everdeen as she's going in to the ring of fire and death and everything. But also sad times, my socks that I usually wear in literally every video, the fuck off socks, are coming apart. Literally every pair of socks that I brought for this trip have lost their elastic, which means I'm gonna have to rebrand. Now I'm honestly not sure which jacket would go with this. Kind of think this one will be too preppy. I think it kind of works and I might wear this to an opera tonight, but yeah, it's just kind of like really dressed up and like kind of looks like I'm going to a business meeting. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I have worn this one before out. I found kind of alternative and that I fit in with Berlin because if they're not wearing black they're wearing green and this probably just looks super odd wearing a summer dress with like a winter jacket and from how small the viewfinder is I can't tell I think it's best to just reserve this dress for when I'm back in Australia and I don't have to wear a jacket I need to take the cake out now I will be back again done? I think so. Cake update. It looks perfect and I will try some later but now we got to get on to another outfit. Green socks are a risk but it might it might pan out. Just hold up, hold up. Now this is giving me very fall vibes, spooky season and I love a good dress that has like a black background because it means you can use it in winter time as well when you have layering of black pieces. Underneath here I have this kind of black knit that I plan on cutting. Maybe I leave it till I get to Australia because I have actually been super cold and I need the like length of the sweater just to warm me up on the day to day. And I feel like most outfits I don't think look very good until I add shoes. And this is one of them. Basically, I haven't worn this dress for the last couple of weeks because I've been too cold, but I figured out this combo and I'm loving it. I've actually worn it several times in the last week and I feel super comfortable, but also I feel like very cool wearing it. As well, I also add a jacket, which I'll show you in a minute, but yeah, I just really like this look. It's keeping me warm and also keeping me stylish. Ha ha ha, ha, yeah. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm not stylish, but here we are. Again, this dress was a thrift purchase in Bath, so Everyone go to bath. Actually don't go to bath because I want it to be good for me next time. I don't want it to be picked over. So yeah, actually avoid bath. Bath sucks. Don't go there. I feel like what needs to happen every time I'm wearing black for me to not think it's just an outfit that I wore when I was a teenager because I wore a lot of black is that you gotta mix up the textures. This jacket, it's a velvety jacket. This black top underneath, it's a knit top long sleeve thing <laughs> and then the tights you know they're like a kind of silky texture so you just gotta mix up the textures make it more interesting instead of all being like black stretchy cotton so yeah should i mix it up with a beret probably too much but here we are and honestly i normally wear my quads down there with this outfit but i thought let's give the sandals some love also, I need to do a whole video about these sandals because I would not pay full price for them. But the fact that I got them for 20 pounds, I don't give a fuck every time I'm wearing them. <laughs> but all you pals out there who have bought them full price, I am crying for you. So this is the look. I tried to kind of spice up this jumpsuit because I feel like when I put it on, I haven't really styled it if I haven't added any like accessories because it seems too easy. Underneath, I do have this kind of mesh sparkly long sleeve thing and then i decided how about i add the beret we needed the beret to be a part of this video in some way and the jumpsuit just gives that feel i feel like i'm like french 
or like, I don't know, I'm like a little burglar, but a party burglar. That's the new aesthetic that I've just created. And I hope you guys can also be party burglars too. Also, did I mention my name? If it's your first time here, my name's Jen. I like to travel, attempt to make YouTube videos, which it hasn't, I have so much footage, but I just haven't been editing it. Sorry, I like to go thrifting and this is one of the thrift pieces that I got in Brighton. We got a Lucy and Yak jumpsuit. I actually went to the store there and they didn't have that many things in my size, but luckily went to the thrift store and they provided. For me, a staple in my wardrobe is having some sort of jumpsuit, boiler suit, something that you can just chuck on. Although it's not very travel friendly. So I don't know really what I'm doing here because clearly you can see nothing fits in the bag. Yes, there's a bag under there. So there's a million and one ways of styling this dress. I personally didn't bring any pajamas on this trip out of all the things that I have here. And I've been wearing this to bed. It's very comfortable. I can style it with pretty much everything in the bag. But today we've gone simple. We've gone a little tiny cardigan and you know, quad soles. I think it also look very good with the loafers. So just imagine that as well. But yeah, I wear this dress as a skirt most of the time as well. If I want it to be longer, just kind of slide it down. It's just super versatile. I think if you're traveling, you need something like this, no matter who you are. Also what I love about this green color, which I'm wearing in the cardigan, is that I have so many things in this color, including my nail polish, which you probably can't see, is all chipped. If you happen to have everything in this color, then everything's gonna match, or you'll look like you're a crazy person. I don't know. It's nice that a lot of these outfits are like super simple to put together and that you could put endless combinations together because sometimes I don't have time to even think because we're moving around so many times and I just wanna wear something cute. So just chuck on anything and boom, you got an outfit. Now I feel like I need to attempt one more outfit. Obviously there's a lot more stuff going on here, but my camera's flashing and I need to stop filming this and go enjoy Berlin. So uh, this is gonna be a random outfit that I just create right now. Just kidding, camera died. But um, yeah, I'll still put together an outfit on this camera. Let's see if this works. I don't know, we got a very low angle down here. But um, I'm thinking like this skirt. Yeah, I'll try that with some stuff. What stuff? I feel like this is turning into actually the outfit that everyone was copying, Emma Chamberlain's outfit that you'd always wear, go-to outfit. But you know what? It's my go-to outfit too. May as well go to loafers. We're gonna do it. So here we have a very comfortable black and red floral skirt. We have loafers, fuck off socks, and a white top. It actually goes together like so. I don't know if you can see that, which is a cool detail, but sometimes I like to leave it undone because it looks more like casual, although I might get kind of cold in these conditions. So I could add something like this cardigan again. Let's try it. As you can see, I have such a thing for red at the moment, but uh, red and green basically. And what I like about this outfit is even though it seems like it's the it girl outfit of the moment, you can kind of customize it to whatever your style is. I got the Doc Martin loafers. I got a short cardigan and just all the colors that I love. So yeah, even though it's like, seems like copy paste, it looks individual, I suppose. <laughs> Let me know how you would do this whole Emma Chamberlain concoction. And if I was really cold, I probably could go with this jacket as well. All right, I could literally go on, show you many more outfits, but I think it's time to eat some cake. Well, what was that thing that they'd say on the Olsen's twins movies? Have your cake and eat it too. Why wouldn't you eat your cake if you have it? Hope you like the outfits. My name has been Jen. Remember to let me know which one you like the best or tell me how you would style any of these items. I'd love to know in the comments below. And until next time, Keep wandering or keep eating cake.